Hey guys, welcome to my channel Linux King. My name is Salman Francis and first of all, I would like to wish all of you a very wonderful and blessed new year and I wish you all the very best. And secondly, today I'm going to uh, post a very interesting video. Basically, this is a very interesting video and it was pending for so long. And this is all about setting up your email server under five minutes. Yes, you heard me right. We are going to set up a fully functional working email server under five minutes. You can use it for email marketing. You can use it for your official purposes. You can use it for anything and it's going to be functional and I'm going to show you. However, before I start it, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, share with your friends and family. And also hit the like button if you like my videos and also the bell notification so you don't miss any notifications for my future videos. So without further ado, let's start. And before we start this video, I have some prerequisites. First thing is we should have a functional, of course, uh, system. And I'm going to uh, use Amazon EC2 instance. I have already installed CentOS Minimal on my EC2 instance. And if you don't have Amazon, you can use your ordinary machine and we can make it an email server okay and you can see I have a public IP over here and I have a private IP if you don't know how to set up EC2 instance please look at my other videos where I have shown how easy it is to set up uh, EC2 instance in Amazon second thing which is very important is that you should have a domain a working domain uh, for example, I have itpings.com and I use name.com as my provider. They are really good. Uh, I'm not affiliated with name.com guys, but the services they provide is really good and it's very simple actually. So anyway, you can see that my domain is pointing to 3.3.239.119.68. This is the IP address of my, this external IP address of my EC2 instance. Also, mail.itpings.com, this is the host name and the address it's pointing to is the same IP address. Uh, then this is also, you can create a C name, but I have created an address, www.itpings.com. It's also pointing to the same IP address and then itpings.com itself, like this is the MX record and itpings.com is itself is pointing to this mail.itpings.com and of, of course, mail.itpings.com is pointing to three dot to 39.119.68 and if you have difficulties understanding how the DNS works please look at my video where I have explained how DNS system works so you can find it in the playlist or just search for Linux King DNS explanations okay so now let's start uh, I have already connected uh, my machine to EC2 instance over here you can see the IP address is 10.1.198 and how we are going to set up a fully functional email under five minutes I have created a script so let me take you there and I will share you this script and guys you can download the script from the description below it's going to be from my website Okay, so the script is in my username and it's called email server.sh and also you guys are like I give you all the permission if you would like to change the script or if you want to make it in uh, like much better because this is just uh, version one and you can uh, like change it as per your liking. So I have no problem with that. All right, guys, so this script will be available from my website, techo.net. Anyway, so what we are going to do, and I just want to show you that no service is running right now. There's nothing. It's a clean system. So you can see that if you go to system, CTL, status, postfix, it's not available. Dove caught, not available. So system ctl httpd status or status http sorry about that so you can see that no services are in, uh, installed even i have not installed firewall as well system ctl status firewall so you can see 
uh, service could not be found. Okay, perfect. So now what we are going to do is we are going to check the time right now. As you can see, it's as per the machine, it's 7.52. So I'm going to start my script and let's see how much time it's going to take. And you can see that uh, one more thing I would like to share. It's like, it's not working. You can see connection refused, nothing is working. Okay, perfect. So let's start again, time. It's 7.52, all right. Here we go. So it's installing each and everything by itself. Okay, it's starting. Okay, now it's asking you what is the, uh, please enter your host name. Okay, and the host name is, of course, it's mail.itthings.com. Yes, this is our host name. Please enter the name of your domain and we know that it's itpings.com. It pings you can enter as per your own domain. Uh, you entered itpings.com, is it correct? Yes, it is. Okay, what is the network? Network is 10. Uh, we need to give internal network of Amazon. And the subnet mask is 24. Is that correct? Yes. And now just sit back and relax and now the script will do everything for you. And by the way, it's going to install uh, PHP 7.4, the latest PHP, PHP and the web mail which we are going to use is rain.loop. Rain loop and let's see. And here we have it, it just installed everything under like in one minute by the way and voila there we have it it's a working email server right now okay now first thing for rain loop what you need to do is you need to go to admin panel you can log in with the user admin and the password is one two three four five Okay, once you are in here, what you need to do, first thing you need to change the password, current password one, two, three, four, five, and new password you can change as per your liking. Repeat the password. Okay, perfect. Now, second thing what you need to do is go to domains, add a domain, my domain is at pings.com and I'm uh, like IMAP server or mail server is going to be mail.itpings. It's the host name actually. So mail.itpings.com. This is not a secure server right now, but we need to uh, use SSL if you want to receive emails or send emails. Yes, I'm going to use short name, for example, user at domain.com. For here, I'm not going to check secure, but I just want to make sure that you use the uh, short name. Let's test. And perfect, we have green. So this is perfect, so good. Okay, add, click on add. Once you have, now you can see that your domain is available. What's next? What we are going to do is we need to check if we have a user. Okay, first thing guys, I need to check if SE Linux is enabled because I have added everything to my script, but just in case. Uh, so we are going to get enforce. And we have, we can see that SE Linux is disabled. And what about firewall D? So system before firewall D was not available. System CTL status. Firewall. And perfect, it's running. And what about firewall cmd dash dash list dash all okay so perfect everything is added automatically now what we are going to do is we are going to add a user so user add and i am going to call it it pings perfect password it pings and i'm going to give it a very simple password abc123 abc123 okay now Let's go to our, so this was the admin. I'm going to log out from this. And now you can see I'm out of it. Now I'm just going to 
remove this admin and I'm going to itpings.com only. Okay, over here, the username is itpings.com, no, sorry, itpings, and at itpings.com. And password was abc123. Perfect, guys, we are in our webmail. So what we are going to do is we are going to send a new message. And for that, I have created a new um, Gmail account. And it's, please don't spam. I know you guys won't, but it's called Linux Cloud 77. And let's see what will happen. So I'm going to send a new message to Linux Cloud 77 at gmail.com and this is testing from our new mail server hey sup admin here okay okay keeping our fingers crossed and sent let's go to send okay the message is sent i hope everything is well let's go to our okay there's an error so what's the error I'm sorry to have you informed that message could not be a hose. I said our system is dead that this message likely unsolicited mail. Okay, because this Gmail sometimes stops or spams your message, put it uh, like add it to the spam. So that's why if if I get at least um, more than thousand or ten thousand likes, then I'm going to set up uh, or create a mail server fully functional SSL email server with certificates with DKIM and with SPF records so but at the moment I'm not going to do this uh, but anyway let's go to our Gmail and check if the mail is there it's received or not so no it's not so let's let's try it again If Gmail fails, then I need to create another email account on some other um, provider and we will check if it works there. Okay. All right, guys, so you know what? I'm going to log into my other Proton mail and let's see because it's, uh, I think it's spamming right now here. Uh, Gmail is not accepting our email. So just let me, uh, just give me a second and I'll be back once I'm in my Proton mail. All right, guys, so I have, um, like, here's my Proton email address and it's Avenger2020. So I'm going to send a message now to my Proton mail. So it's Avenger2020 at protonmail.com. Testing from ring or email server, new mail server. And this is also going to go into spam. However, uh, testing from email server okay now let's send and here we have it like this is the mail I sent for uh, like the testing purpose okay now if I go to my uh, proton mail and here we have it perfect and it came to inbox wow so perfect so you can see it's testing from new mail server and the user it pings at it pings .com. Uh, Perfect. So there you have it. It's mail server under five minutes and rather it was really fast. It was in one minute, by, by the way. So you can use this email for email marketing as well. You can see like uh, other than Gmail, it's going to inbox most of the time. However, if again, if I get more than 10,000 likes, I'm going to create 
I'm going to set up a fully functional email server for email marketing as well. Okay, one more thing guys, before I uh, uh, stop my video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out from this ItThings user and let's create another user just in case, just to test. All right guys, so I'm back in our machine. So what we need to do is we need to create another user. Let's add user add, uh, let's call it Avenger again, Avenger, okay. And then, sorry about that, sudo so sue, user add, let's add superman by the way, user add superman, password for superman is going to be super, one to one, super one to one, all right. Now what we need to do is we need to log in with this time with superman at shitpings.com with the password of super one to one okay perfect we have logged in now what we are going to do is we are going to send a new message to avengers from superman avenger 2020 at protonmail.com from DC sub okay Avenger 2020 at protonmail.com send and I hope it will land into their inbox again okay we are in our inbox perfect from DC here we have it and I'm going to reply now so let's reply. Hey DC, hey DC, we are all good. Send. Okay, message is sent. Let's go to our inbox. And there we have it. Perfect. So as you can see, we have a we have created a fully functional email server, and I remember like this was a request from a lot of my subscribers. So I have fulfilled your requirements, your uh, request, and thank you for being my subscriber. And I hope you like this video. Again, guys, if you like my video, please hit the subscribe button, like, hit the bell icon so you don't uh, miss my notifications. Thank you very much again, and see you in our next video. Until then. Goodbye and God bless.